Let's check in with Kevin Burkhart. Guys, Howard Stern fans know exactly who this guy is. It's Gary Delabate, the producer for 25 years for the Stone Stern Show. Also, uh, Baba Bowie. We all know, we know you by that as well. You are also the host here of Autism Awareness Day at City Field. How did that come about? Um, Jim Watkins' wife uh, gave me a call. Jim Watkins from uh, CW11 yeah. News at night. And um, she said, you know, we could sell a lot of tickets if you would come up to the suite and be the host and throw out the first pitch. So we started talking about the first pitch on the air, and Artie, who works on our show, is a big Yankee fan, was giving me uh, a, a, a lot of grief about it. And uh, we talked about how nervous I was throwing it out, and um, that, got, that generated a lot of people buying tickets to come and see me. And in case you're wondering, I blew it. <laughs> how, did, how did that go? I know there was a lot of stuff going on in the air, so much so that a, you had a, a certain call from a certain psychologist. One of our listeners was a sports psychologist, so he called me. And I was on my, home, my way home one day, so I talked to him for 40 minutes in the car. Obviously, it didn't help. Yeah, all, all that counseling, it didn't really work. So we'll see if we can take a look at the, uh, the beauty of this first pitch. And uh, here we go. What, what are you thinking right now? Uh, wow. Wow. I was really hoping that that would not end up on television. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassed. I mean, that's, you know, they tell you not to bounce it, but they also, I don't know that anybody ever told you not to throw it into the stands either. Uh, the good news was I had the distance. The bad news was I hit the umpire. <laughs> you are, as we said, the producer of the Howard Stern Show. You've been that for many, many years. As Mosk has won a ride, Beltran will haul in for the second out. The most challenging thing, the most fun thing about doing that incredible job. Um, is that every day is a different day. Like, I could come to work one day. One day I went to work, and I found out Howard was running for governor. Like, we just decided that during the show, and suddenly I was the producer of the show and a campaign manager. But we, everything's not scripted out. So any day can bring something new. People can just show up, and that's the most exciting part about it. That's what makes it fun. And you're a diehard Mets fan. You don't have the shirt on just because you know, you're here. You're, you're a big Mets fan. So before we let you go, the, what, do you see, what, do you what do you like about what you're seeing on the field here? Um, I mean, this is a beautiful park. I mean, I love everything about it. I love all the nuances of it. I love that it's like an old school park. Uh, and I love that the Mets are uh, sort of waking up and starting to have a nice little run here. And uh, I hope this is a year. You know what? I'm waiting for the year, and I'm hoping this is it. Yeah, thanks for being involved in the great cause, and thanks for not pitching in the Mets bullpen. Thank you very much, Kevin. Good to see you. <laughs> Guys, back to you. And when you wake up Monday morning, you will be hearing Howard never giving, never letting Gary oh, hear oh, the oh, end oh, of, exactly. of that pitch. <laughs> I mean, he's going to hear about that for the next two years.